we are blocking uh, the, the two entrance gates of, uh, of Monsanto today um, by uh, locking ourselves on and this way uh, we prevent that the gates can be opened and uh, we prevent that the workers can go in uh, so we want to stop uh, all work at the, at the company for a whole day so uh, economically that brings them some harm we plan to stay here um, until the working day is over so they can't work uh -huh. for the whole day you definitely don't need any special training okay. you just need a motivation so basically we are in this tube and uh, we can't get out that's how we block the gate we are attached they have to uh, cut through it this is quite uh -huh. a quick yeah it's mm -hmm. uh, strong steel i think they won't be able to do it with little, little saw uh -huh. some bigger machinery they have these special uh, de-locking teams which is not bad because then at least <laughs> you know that they know what they're doing but I think it's uh, outrageous that uh, a company like Monsanto is destroying so many things in the world and uh, the, the company that was here was a, a Dutch uh, seed industry uh, called Reuter Seeds and was taken over by Monsanto in, uh, in 2008 and this clearly shows the, the character of a company like Monsanto they're just like trying to buy up more and more seed companies they're trying to monopolize the market more and more uh, trying to have control basically over the whole food industry. Monsanto is clearly a company that really works on its image uh, because they started off as a, as a chemicals uh, company. Uh, but then of course like any company they're trying to make more profits or they're trying to find new markets. So that's when they started to get uh, interested in the genetically genetic engineering uh, industry. So they started buying up uh, little by little seed companies uh, to be able to genetically uh, manipulate plants to take the patents on these plants and actually find another product to sell their chemicals with. Um, but then of course it if, if you're not a chemical, well, supposedly not a chemical company anymore, it becomes a lot easier to, to give yourself a green image because you can say, you know, uh, as an, an argument that is often given, we're um, actually feeding the world uh, because uh, with high production agriculture, uh, we can feed more people because we have higher uh, rendiments and stuff like that. But the opposite is true. I mean, there is enough scientific studies uh, that show that there is not necessarily um, a higher uh, rendiment of, of, of these crops. And also an argument what they're often use, using is that on genetically manipulated plants, they have to spray less pesticides. That's also not true because there is also a lot of um, uh, proof that, that, that this is not the case. <coughs> I, I, I introduced myself, so I would really like to know who you are and who you are. I, we already heard that you were European uh, top and you are the Dutch representative. Why don't you say who you are? Thierry Boyer. Thierry Boyer? Yes. Would, would you kill me? Yeah, Did you do that? This is just, we improved this argument. <laughs> Yeah. You had some art here, and we just adjusted this uh, this what Monsanto art a bit more to the Monsanto manipulated reality. That's what we did here. It's for a nice picture, come yeah, on, yeah. you know. We didn't really yeah. uh, destroy it. Do you, 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 you say no damage? Should we kill? Well, that's minor damage compared to the damage Monsanto is doing to the world. So. Yeah, yeah. He is right. He is the other one. <laughs> he is right. Okay. Would you give back uh, life to those children who died uh, in Paraguay from soya plantations from the Roundup? Would you? Hmm? Why are you asking questions if you don't uh, give the answers? That's a heavy, real question. Yeah. Would you give back the life to those children? Maybe he doesn't know about it because he's from France. You are from the he, 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 he worked for Monsanto. He killed them. It's true what he says. It's a serious question. It's terrible. The main GM crop uh, grown at the day of today is uh, genetically manipulated soy. Uh, it's mainly cultivated in, uh, in South American countries. Uh, Monsanto uh, owns it, it's, it's called Round of uh, Ready Soy. 
And actually, the soy is not uh, is not food. It's not food for people uh, because the majority of this crop is being used as uh, as fodder for the the industrial livestock industry, uh, mainly being exported as such from South American countries where it's grown to uh, Europe and China, where mar uh, meat markets are are huge and intensive. It's quite absurd anyway that in, in countries uh, where there is so much poverty that land is actually being taken over for the production of fodder for European and, and Chinese meat and not for local food production. I think it's important that, that people realize uh, what the situa situation is of, of food the day of today. That you know um, meat is not well, meat is, is being produced at a, at a scale that is, is not like, you know, some, some cows walking around uh, on farms. There is actually a whole industry behind. Uh, there are companies like Monsanto behind uh, that actually poison our agriculture. Uh, so people should well, stop, stop eating meat because it's, it's not only... Uh, it's also good for, well, against climate change in a way. Uh, so that's an extra reason. Um, they should try to eat more local and in that way support local farmers uh, so they also are less uh, dependent on, on large-scale companies and uh, try to eat more organic foods uh, so uh, we don't need uh, these pesticide companies anymore.